last year we didn't have a great uh, race weekend here, um, and now with the uh, you know also the the sprint format uh, makes it um, quite difficult to to straight away be on top of things. We had a few ideas why last year was not that great, but yeah, one practice session to. Um, to make sure that it's better this year. But uh, yeah, th I think there's a lot of, you know, high deck here um, and the way you have to set up the car, a lot of low speed corners. I don't think our car is particularly, let's say, amazing in, in the low speed corners. So um, I guess we'll find out. How have you been since Mexico as a human and a, and a racing driver? How do you deal with what's happened and, and bounce back here? I was sad on Monday um, for half a day, more or less, and then I, you know, I put it behind me. You know, I I'm a uh, sportsman, and uh, I know how how this goes. And uh, with the passion, I live my my career. And um, yeah, just put it behind me and um, had my head high because I gave my best and uh, proud of that. And uh, now looking forward for the last three races. Yeah, it's always been a special race for me. I mean, I, w I won my first world championship here. Um, I, it was kind of crazy back then because I kind of felt like public enemy number one. Um, obviously, I was racing against Felipe, but um, the growth uh, that I've felt here and the reception that I've had here, the amazing support, and it's just such a beautiful culture. And the track is is iconic. You know, they they don't build circuits like this anymore. Hopefully, we can continue the run. Um, it hasn't been easy because it always seems like in the races we struggle more than in quali. Like it's been all season, but at least. Uh, we're accepting it and we're just maximizing whatever the race has to offer for us. No? And I think we need to keep going that way until the end of the season. We know this year's car is just uh, a bit worse in, in the race than what it is on quali and we, you just need to maximize the weekend. Yeah, very intense. And uh, as you said, the double DNF um, in Austin and, and Mexico it hurts a lot. Uh, but we have another chance here in Brazil. I'm happy that it's a triple uh, header because you know you don't have time to um, to feel the pain. You immediately jump in the car and, and you try again. And I think it's going to be a, a better weekend. Hopefully, this one with less experiments and uh, more straightforward. What was my secret? <laughs> Qualifying badly was my secret. Um, <laughs> it makes it a lot more fun coming from um, starting at the back. So. Uh, I mean, the pace was great all weekend. Um, maybe not amazing qualifying, but good enough easily to be into Q3 and so forth. So um, we knew the pace was going to be good on Sunday. Maybe not uh, almost as good as what it was. Come, come, the kind of especially that that final stint. I think the first stint was good, but just hard to make uh, a lot of um, progress at the beginning. Uh, but the second stint, yeah, you know, once you come, you get the tires in a good window, and and things start to come towards you, then um, things start to flow, and felt very good out there. So. Yeah, made it a very enjoyable race. I heard that you visited the Ertin Center Foundation earlier this week. I mean, how was that? What did that mean to you? It was extremely special for me. I mean, Ertin has uh, always been the one and only idol I've ever had. Uh, and uh, to be able to see the real car he has been uh, that the real car that he has been driving, the helmets that he uh, has worn uh, in his career was very, very special. And uh, also, the family has welcomed me in the best way possible. So it was an emotional day and a great day. So I really enjoyed it. This place will always be um, hold a special place in my heart. But this weekend, it's um, eyes forward, not backwards. And we need to try and repeat it. But I think there's no, there's no guarantees uh, just because we were the quickest here last year that we can repeat that. We'll obviously be trying to achieve it. But with just the one practice session, it's vital you hit the ground running and in a sprint race weekend, that's always a challenge. It's like a cool circuit, an old school circuit as well. Um, so I'm looking forward to it. Last sprint of the year, um, last weekend with one practice session. So yeah, that's gonna make life difficult for, for myself, for the team, for all the teams. Um, setting up the car after one session is, is always tough. But uh, no, happy to be here in Brazil, happy to learn a new circuit and uh, hopefully we can have a good weekend. My friends sent me over the the videos of the finish with Lewis. Every, I think every single year they always send me back like you know positive energy and keep going through it. And uh, yeah, it was it was incredible. Like to to get my first podium here in Brazil was very special. Every time I come to the track, just driving down the road, I just remember all the emotions I had. So um, yeah, great track, uh, very good reason, especially second sector. Uh, really love it. So yeah, looking forward to see what we will be able to achieve this year with Alpine. I mean, it wasn't what we were expecting hoping for after a really strong race on um, 
Sunday in Austin um, when we started from the pit lane, changed a few things from the car. Um, you know, had a strong race on Sunday in Austin, finishing the points. Then going to Mexico, really struggling again. So, um, not you know what we were hoping for last weekend, but um, we'll see what we can do this weekend. First of all, it's, it's amazing to be uh, to be back in Brazil. Um, the the support I got here every year, it's just incredible. Um, and uh, and it's it's a fantastic track, you know, very old school um, track that we we all enjoy, you know, racing on. Um, we had a good year uh, for sure last year. It was a, it was a solid result uh, on Sunday and also in qualifying. So uh, hopefully, you know, we are going to be um, you know as uh, efficient and have uh, as good result as last year. It's been a year so far where it feels like we've been able to deliver results when we've had the opportunities, which is not always the easiest thing. Um, having another year in the team as well, there's a lot more experience, a lot more knowledge. Going into every weekend, knowing a car that you've driven last year, which is quite similar, you can build on that from FP1 not straight away. So um, in that side, yes. On the other side, I have to say, it all goes hand in hand. You know, having a good car, um, a better car than last year. I think the race pace wasn't quite as we were hoping for, but the bigger issue was track position. Uh, pretty much the whole race being stuck behind behind cars, and that way you can't really show the pace and, and see the real pace. So I think that was the bigger issue. So not the luckiest race as well with timings. You know, safety car became for both of us in the worst possible timing. So it's just a bit unlucky as well. It's always uh, nice to come here. Um, love the track, love the place, the, the you know, the, the culture, the people. Um, and I've always done well here. Um, so look forward to it. Haven't been here in a few years, um, but I think the track hasn't really changed. A little bit of resurfacing here and there, but it's uh, it's broadly the same. So uh, look forward to to a busy sprint weekend. For myself, it was really one of the most frustration race I ever had, but I learned lots of things from them. So, and I already reset from that race, so I'm good. Um, Brazil, hopefully we ex hopefully we can score points as much as possible. Uh, we're not expecting as much as Mexico, but. Still, we're expecting good performance from the car. Um, so yeah, that's good. You know, in a car that is still relatively new for me, obviously it was my fourth fourth proper race weekend of the year. So I think to have that feeling quite early um, and also just an understanding of, I think already I got a good understanding of what I, what I want from the car. So in terms of setup, we were able to change a few things going into Mexico. And I think that as well, translating into the feeling I was looking for, I think that's that's also really positive. From my side, of course, last spring race weekend, we've been improved a lot compared to the beginning of the year, just to have the car on the ground and working fine. And yeah, we need to improve more as this Sunday race pace is being a little bit frustrating, And uh, but we're still there. I feel like we have the car to score points. It's still good to uh, know the track. It's a sprint weekend, so that's going to be tricky. Um, weather looks a bit mixed, but um, yeah, at least have a base understanding of it.